Hello, in this video we're going to go over the basics of auto posting in EasyClaim. So what is auto posting? It's the receiving and posting of payments from an ANSI 835 EDI file. It's also known as an ERA, but in this video I'm going to call it by its technical name, the 835. 835 files can be downloaded straight into your EasyClaim program. To get started, click the View EDI Reports button from your Home tab or ribbon. Then click the Get Reports button on the right side. This will download EDI files from your clearinghouse into your EasyClaim program. If you have the 835 file saved to your computer, Click Add Reports to browse to that saved file. New unopened 835 files will be at the top of your report list in bold font. All of mine have been opened. Double click to open the file. At this step, you'll be asked to confirm the payer. EasyClaim will try to match by payer name but if no exact match or more than one match is found, you'll be asked to select the correct payer. If you choose incorrectly, you can close the file, reopen it, selecting the other payer this time. Now that the 835 file is open, let's go over everything that we see here. First of all, nothing has posted yet. We always give you a chance to review the data before posting any payments or adjustments. Up at the top, we have the check information in bold for quick reference. At the top right is the Apply Payment and Adjustments button. This is what we'll click when we are ready to post. Below the bold check information is your posting grid. Here's where you'll find the claim information such as claim status, patient name, service date, charges, and payment amount. You'll also find a balance column. This shows the real-time balance of the service line before and after posting. The last columns on the right will show summarized adjustment amounts. Now going back to the left side, you can drill down by clicking the plus sign to see specific adjustment information for each service line. If you would like to look at the claim before posting, click the Open Claim button. The bottom half of the tab summarizes all of the adjustments and their descriptions for this payment or check. You can drill down by clicking the small plus sign to see the adjustment details. Each adjustment has its own action to select, apply, track, or ignore. Only apply adjustments you intend to write off. All other adjustments should be left to track, especially patient responsibility amounts. Please watch our Apply, Track, Ignore Adjustment Settings video for further details on this topic. We have the definitions for each of those actions at the bottom right corner for quick reference. Back up at the top on the right side, you'll find the Options button. Clicking this will open the ANSI 835 Posting Options pop-up. Here is where you can change any of your adjustment default actions. On the lower half, you'll find some additional options to set. Watch our video on Posting Options for more information on this topic. Save any changes you've made to close the pop-up. Once you've reviewed your file, you're ready to post. Click the Apply Payments and Adjustments button in the top right corner. When complete, your grid should be green, indicating everything posted appropriately. If something didn't post or there was an issue, the program will display those service lines in red along with a warning message. Please check our other auto-posting videos on posting warnings you may receive. If you have any need to print a posting report, you can click the Run Report button on the right side. 
The last step is to click the Close and Archive button, which will archive the current file and bring you back to your EDI Reports tab. This is just a quick overview of auto posting. We have more videos on options, settings, and warning messages. And we have a pre-recorded webinar available that goes deeper in depth with this topic. That and other payment videos are available on our YouTube tutorial playlist. Thank you for watching.